Karen, Zoe, um, starting with Zoe, I hate being the guy to break the bad news. Your souls aren't cute. They're not ideal. I don't know what else to say. I would give you souls six at the highest. If I was grading them, they would get a D. I'll be moving on to her. Souls in this picture, they're actually getting a four. I see crust. I see flakes that could possibly fall off. Arches, I would give like a six kind of arch. Nothing too major. Eight, wear and tear. Da 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 da. We're going to go on to her toes. Hopefully, she can redeem herself. These pictures right here do look pretty good. Your foot is trimmed. Nails are looking cleanly polished, clean overall. Overall, I'll give her toes right here. Eight. I'll give her overall foot six point seven it's because of souls man the souls they brought it down so much like i'm just gonna give her the rating i gave her and move on to karen gilligan otherwise known as nebula the mean one the one who's always mad we're gonna go ahead and write her arches first nothing too crazy she's not looking like a mcdonald's you or the golden gate bridge or anything she's worthy of at least a c but i think she's better than that i'll give her 8.7 when it comes to her arches don't ever question my foot rating capabilities because like i've done this so many times at this point no calluses not too much evidence of crust you can tell when a soul looks soft this soul right here i would give it a seven let's maybe try and find uno mas because guess what guys nobody has a perfect foot we'll be searching for that for the rest of our life that's okay because it's about all the feet that we see on the way there so right here an overall a seven nothing special and now nebula's toes imagine if her toes were just like completely blue overall her foot does look a bit skinnier toes a bit skinnier second toe hits a hard 90 degree drop down like it's going out of half pipe trying to run away from the big toe i'm not trying to make fun of anybody's feet i'm just saying what i see maybe i got a bad angle look if you know me then you know that i don't lie when it comes to feet okay i'm not gonna tell you that you have cute feet when you have biscuits if you have ugly feet i'm gonna tell you it's kind of leaking over into the cuticle a little bit i would give karen's toes right here 7.3 i'm just gonna call it that i can't force myself to like someone's feet okay last but not least tom otherwise known as mantis in guardians of the galaxy and honestly she has some pretty cute feet decently long toes i know in the past i've said that i don't really like long toes but it really is a person to person type of thing whose foot fits the body type better if i were to throw my kid down her art would he slide down that thing probably that's a good reason to give her art a 10 10 out of 10 for palm mantises art i didn't tell you guys but we do have one more person in this video we're just gonna go straight to the toes too so stick around on to palm souls let me cook I would give Palm Souls right here. I'll give them like a nine, okay? She has like a, a long foot, yet yeah, it's not stretched out as well. I don't know. Her, she has a nice looking foot. That's why I saved her for last. I would give Palm Souls a nine. And we're just gonna go to her toes. So bam, you know, I, I wanted to bless you guys. Toes for Palm, these toes for me, guys. I'm gonna give these toes a 9.7 because this picture just really does them justice. And if I were to see the toes on this day in this setting, I would have probably lost myself, okay? Maybe not, but I digress. 9.7 out of 10 toes for um, otherwise known as Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy. Elizabeth Deckaby, Elizabeth Deckaby, toast everybody, read it and weep. Honestly, subscribe if you like feet.